Hello, dear friends. Indeed, it is good to see you all. And uh, how is life? Lockdown period, stranded up in your homes. Rather, this time gives you a quiet scope for introspection, to think what was lacking in your life, and how to take things ahead. So, we'll utilize, today we will discuss on the career options of plant breeding as a subject, as a streams, or as a specializations to continue after BSc agriculture. And uh, how for the places where you can go who are your hirers where you can uh, be uh, hired get some jobs in this way right and uh, the in inspiration of this video was provided by dr vipin kumar scientist agronomy division indian agriculture research institute in fact we were friends during our student days and spent a lot of times together discussing growing together so uh, he provided me the platform indeed thanks friend. so subject as a plant breeding it's one of the major branches of agriculture now you know the entire agriculture it runs through the input sectors and seed or the varieties are the most primary inputs whatever package of practices you give to the farmer for, or any intervention you give to the uh, stakeholders variety is the most prime thing which ushered a change for example, green revolution, all the Kalyan Sona, Sonalika, all those wheat varieties or IR64, this type of varieties, those brought the change. The varieties are supported by package of practices which comes from agronomy or other divisions or maybe from agricultural engineering, farm mechanizations and all those. But variety is the most primary basic intervention provided by the agriculture sector for the upliftment of the farmers for the food security of the country and finally we work for the we work for farmers for what we are so first what we all deserve the, what we all wish a research career obviously there are many options you can go to service sector you can go to research you can go to teaching you can go to corporate sector you can start your own entrepreneurship so many options are there so as a scientist that is as a geneticist or plant breeder uh, yeah, working in research and development most primarily you can work in public sectors that is ICR, ARS that is, they, are the, they are the most pioneer employers of you ICR, ARS service where there are uh, more than 90 research institutes of ICR across the, uh, across the country you can be utilized, you can get absorbed there clearing the ICR, ARS exam and uh, obviously you can serve the nation that's a that's a great way next the indian council of forestry research and education as if icr is there where you can be established as genetics and plant breeder in indian council of forestry research and education you'll be absorbed as a tree breeder that's also a beautiful uh, way to serve the nation and tree breeding it's a very tough trees don't flower regularly some some of them they grow quite late so the genetics of trees, it is quite complex. Many of my friends are there in uh, forestry research and education, and it's a challenging job. Next are, are our SAU, State Agricultural Universities, several of them. You can serve the country in that way, uh, working as a scientist there, research personnel there. Next, the KVKs, center, once again controlled by uh, uh, SAUs or some uh, NGOs or central government agencies. The KVKs are a Krishi Vigyan Kendra as rather they are a good option. Next the silk board. Basically all the commodities board. Tea board, coffee board uh, and silk board. They all, that is the central government uh, 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 organizations under the Ministry of Commerce and all those. So there also you can go as a plant breeder. And next finally the uh, NSC, the seed sector. National Seeds Corporation, uh, that's also, uh, basically it was the SFCI, State Farms Corporation of India, who used to um, employ the breeders, but SFCI in many cases it has been merged with NSC, National Seeds Corporation, and uh, they produce the seeds whenever a variety is released and it comes to the channel, uh, it's, uh, it is provided by uh, the National Seed Corporation. So these are the uh, uh, public sectors. Next, uh, as a research in private sector, research in private, you know the seed companies. Uh, in fact, hell of them options are there. Bayer, the most leading one, uh, Maheko, Monsanto, Sibajigi, Syngenta, Pioneers, Devgen, uh, Nanhems, just 
as a student as a bsc ag student you please visit the companies the website of the you know in which way their researches are going on when they hire what commodities they are working and uh, these merger and acquisitions are very common within those companies and so uh, so what is the market trend which seed company is leading so as a bsc ag student you need to have a very close vigil on the market so they, that updates you where you can go next obviously the teaching teaching is once again a very passionate sector we get teachers who made us so all the saus state agriculture universities uh, pg colleges are there in different states central agriculture universities like bhu aligarh muslim university uh, rlbcau rani lakshmi bai central agriculture universities these are there some of the new institutes are coming like ramakrishna mission rkm vri ramakrishna mission uh, vivekanand university they have coming they have come with their that's a central uh, central university in fact so they have come with their colleges in kolkata narendrapur and ranchi that organization is also growing and uh, many private players are also they are lpu you know lovely professional university they are having icr accreditation some of the private players they are having they are gaining icr accreditations and coming into the picture next is developing your own entrepreneurship state services are very unique uh, that that we commonly call state line departments normally state line departments recruit ado or ao agriculture development officer and agriculture extension officer which are very good. but few states they have dedicated research services for example west bengal west bengal has ado research so where directly plant breeders and specific specific uh, some uh, plant breeders geneticists pathologists um, the research persons can go and they have ado administration so they are the administration guys will be there so many of the states are having such type of systems that states having its own research systems own farms up is having that uh, punjab haryana is having so state line departments are your most uh, uh, potent employers next uh, obviously after state uh, almost we have summarized uh, the public sector uh, research and public sector teaching in teaching the state colleges are there in up you will find so many uh, pg colleges so the state higher education commission they recruit uh, in many states such uh, agricultural educational uh, central recruitment uh, platforms and forums are there so finally is the entrepreneurship as a breeder what the best entrepreneurship you can start is the seed simple so and uh, in the p- present ppba for a regime a farmer can be a breeder farmers varieties can be developed and they can be marketed and uh, so as a uh, knowing having the knowledge of genetics and plant breeding uh, the entrepreneurship you can jump into is directly into the seed sector you take some farmers with you uh, just in in a uh, contact farming more or somewhere procure the varieties evaluate them once in your space grow the seeds certify them sell them any man you you it may be one of, if you want to have it under a brand you need to go for a, a specific process if it is be under without a brand without any branding that also you can do the systems enables you to serve it in any way that is the beauty of the system it's so flexible but you should know the rules of the game because as you come to seed it is all, it is very legal it's very legal you can you can't uh, uh, mess with it because it may lay into in legal affairs at any time so uh, these are uh, many of the sectors i have covered next uh, many time the, there are job crunches you know in present market conditions and the in fact the vacancies are not very uh, regular so there are short term services also so uh, as a plant breeder or as a with msc uh, gpb or phd the most thing you can you can be absorbed as a research personnel for 3 to 4 years temporary time in which you, you can develop yourself so uh, there are different project based posts at the icr research institutes and saus where you can work as a srf with a handsome salary uh, is there and you can grow yourself academic and uh, as a after phd you can work as an ra research associate and uh, obviously with plan the plan breeding covers a major part of the graduate level examinations that that are conducted by ifco in the national seed corporation food corporation of india nabard nabard nafed even in upsc also uh, uh, plant breeding this subject covers a major chunk so the subject per se is very important uh, where you can where you need to follow next how you can go 
so these are the things where you can go now i'll discuss how you can go obviously after bsc uh, completing the bsc agriculture you are preparing yourself academically so first target is the icr grf or the state conduct examinations this uh, uh, there is a conducted by the state where you go to your msc entrance icr grf fit and fine uh, you go to you give uh, you get fellowship uh, for two years otherwise you can take placements and complete uh, your um, uh, msc program msc genetics and plant breeding or msc plant breeding or msc genetics program in different uh, universities of india next after uh, grf or after completing your uh, msc it is the you can go for icr srf that is the phd entrance examination once again there is an examination to provide you fellowship in which you can have your phd even the ira entrance examination also has been merged with icr srf so that's a uh, major target examination which can be targeted and the parallelly the state exams are there up catet is there in up and different states have their own entrance examinations for phd the central universities are are having their own parallel examination system bhu aligarh muslim university ilahabad agriculture university that shuarts and all those uh, they are having their own entrance so uh, at least you should know the exams very well right there are many universities of ugc system which can which also provide the degrees uh, especially i will mention the kolkata university a very old university they are providing degrees in genetics and plant breeding in msc and phd uh in up our csjm chhatrapati shahuji maharaj university and there are many universities you have to search them and depending on your feasibility where you can move it a bit uh, and you find where you can have your degree so uh, and uh, finally after msc csi and net grf that's a big uh, that's a really a uh, big uh, uh, big way you can go to csi or institutes and uh, do your phd Uh, and in fact, CSI and not JRF uh, is not tough one. With some guidance, you need to. Have. In uh, I was an MS student of Pannagar, where uh, CSI and net JRF was so common. Every almost guys were used to clear that. During my PhD uh, time at uh, IRI, I myself was a CSI or fellow. So CSI and net JRF is a big op uh, is a big opportunity in which you can directly go to CSI or in labs as well as you can stay in uh, ICR labs as well you, you can go to any UGC lab. So uh, that's uh, CSI and net JRF that provides you with this option uh, uh, for your PhD. So uh, almost I think the things are covered. Uh, you can reach me up in my FB page. where we, we may discuss with the career options especially what i will suggest just think like a mendel when I mean, obviously genetics is a subject in which uh, there just more i think say of that person uh, it is lesser the person whose subject came to existence after years after his death while living the man did not get his respect so as a, pursuing this subject is a respect to that man and in fact genetics is the basis basis of the agriculture sector let me say you seed once again uh, we know whatever change we are going to bring seeds are the most primary thing so uh, seed sector is equally important you can pursue there's a lot of options where you can go so uh, just i will wish you happy study understand the subject decide your future uh, introspect where you can go in how much water you are and just go ahead that's life that's the way things go on and i'm so happy to speak to you during this time just while speaking to you i revisit i discover myself and finally introducing me i am uh, bishwajit mandal i am working as a plant breeder in uh, the indian institute of plant pulses research uh, kanpur uh, i had my bsc from banaras hindu university bsc agriculture uh, as an icr jrf i had my msc from gb pant university of agriculture and technology pannagar and as a csi at grf i had my phd from indian agriculture research institute new delhi thank you thank you very much